I could go into sprint and do everything. It feels like I'm playing Call of Duty on my Xbox or PlayStation, all right? It feels like it's native. What's up, guys? The tech spot here. And I know it's been a month since I have it uploaded, but I am back finally, and I am back with a banger. And this video, I got something super excited to share with you guys. I am going to be showing you guys how to connect your PS5 DualShock 5 controller and also your Xbox Series X controller to your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. Now, there is one thing about this, and that is that you have to be on the latest version of iOS, which is currently a beta. So that means it's not officially and publicly released for everyone. So in order to be on the beta, you do have to have a developer account. And the developer account does cost $100 a year from Apple. But there is a free way to update to the beta without a developer account. I made a video on that in the past, but Apple decided to take down the video. And I got a copyright strike, so I'm not trying to do that again. All right, so if you want to know how to update to the latest beta of iOS, which is right now iOS 14.5 beta 1, okay, so iOS 14.5 beta 1, that's what you need, then just go and Google how to update to that beta, and I'm sure you'll find it and you'll be able to update. All right, guys, but unfortunately, I cannot show you because otherwise Apple will take down my video and maybe my channel, okay, so I'm not trying to do that. All right, but anyways, guys, so this device right here is on iOS 14.5 beta 1. If I head over to my settings application and then head down over to general and then about, you guys can see under software version, I am on iOS 14.5. And again, this is the first beta. You can be on any beta of iOS 14.5 and above because this is the software that just brings support initially. And after that, you're basically good to go. All right, from there, it's pretty easy. So I'm just going to go back over here. I need to go back over to my Bluetooth, okay? First thing you wanna do is gonna turn off your Bluetooth. Now to start with, the first control I'm gonna be connecting is my PS5 DualShock 5 controller, all right? So to put it into pairing mode, what you have to do is hold down both the PlayStation button in the middle right there and hold down the Create button at the same time. So just keep on holding them down and you will notice that the light will start to flicker. And there you go, it's like flickering blue. I'm not sure if you guys could see that. If my camera would focus yeah but it is like kind of uh blinking okay so anyways once you have done that then you can go ahead and basically turn on your bluetooth and at the very bottom you guys will see dual sense wireless controller all you gotta do is tap on that and just like that we are now connected you'll notice that this light will now become solid and soon it is now red so it is now red which is super super cool so that means it's connected it even says on my phone that's connected and that's it all right, so we're going to play any game. So I'm going to start with, for example, Dead Trigger here on my phone. This is an older game, so I don't think I can control the menu. It's not letting me. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and load up a map, and let's see how this goes. I'm super excited. I've been waiting for this feature for so long. Okay, so I'm using my right control stick to move, as you guys can see, and look around, and my left one to actually move. But I'm hitting my triggers, and I can't do anything. All right, so I don't know if there's a setting. Let me go into settings real quick. I've got to tap on it. All right, options and aim sensitivity, control scheme. Uh, we got static move pad. Okay, do we have any more settings? Uh, music volume, enable blood. Yes. Okay, that's all the settings. So maybe in this game, we don't have official control support. I mean, it works, all right? But all I could do is dodge zombies, okay? I can't shoot at them, so I'm basically gonna die. And that's about it. So let's move on to the next game. Call of Duty Mobile. I can't press the circle button to go back. So I have to press on the X right here. So I got to click on multiplayer and let's go ahead and start another match. So I'm super excited for this one and I love this map. All right, so anyways, I could go into sprint and do everything. It feels like I'm playing Call of Duty on my Xbox or PlayStation, all right? It feels like it's native, but there you go. We picked off one kill. He's still there. He's coming up, he's coming up. All right, let's go. Yo, get up. All right, there you go. Oh god, I have to reload so much. Okay, here we go. I'm going in, going in, going in. There you go. Where's that guy? I got grenades. Bam. Oh, there you go, got him. And now I got a cruise missile. There's one. Let's play some more. So again, you use control sticks as per usual. Triangle to switch guns. The square to reload. You can use the kill streaks with using the D-pad. And then you can also aim using the left trigger. 
and shoot using the right. So again, it's just like Call of Duty, how you would play on your PS5 or Xbox Series X. But this time you got it mobile now. Oh, that works. Oh, we destroyed. 50 to 15. All right, guys, so now let's try out another game. I'm going to do a beach buggy racing. So again, you cannot go really go through the menu, but uh, let's hit play and see if this controller works on beach buggy racing. This is basically like Mario Kart, so hopefully I can move. Um, I don't think it's working. Um, try out other games. Basically, what you want to search for is games that are MFI controller compatible, meaning made for iPhone controller compatible. I'm going to connect the Series X. So to disconnect the controller, all you got to do is head over back to settings. And it's a little bright, so head over to Bluetooth. And you could also just go ahead and just tap on the controller, the, the eye right there next to it, and tap on disconnect. And it's like that. The controller's lights off. Connected to your PS5 again. Now let's connect to the Xbox controller. So again, same thing. You want to turn off Bluetooth. And on your Xbox controller, you want to hold down both the Xbox button and the sync button at the same time. So just hold down both buttons at the same time until it starts blinking rapidly like that. All right. So now from here, we're going to turn on Bluetooth. And you guys can see Xbox wireless controller 4416. Okay, so you might have a different number, but anyways, pair. And it's like that. We are now connected. I can see now we got a solid light right there. Now, you can't go through the menu like you would be able to on Android. Oh, it looks like we're playing on Nuketown. Looks like it's working. I can go through my classic. I can see with the D-pad. And uh, yeah, I can see everything works. I just want to play a little bit now. All right, so now we are playing. And look at that. Just so easy. <laughs> this Nuketown map is pretty dope, actually, on the Call of Duty Mobile. I would actually be playing this on the go. The sprint and everything. So much easier. Look at that. You would not have been able to do that without a controller. Um, no way. <laughs> we did find that the PlayStation 5 controller was actually more responsive. And it just works better with this. With the controls, it wasn't as laggy. While the Xbox controller did have a few hiccups, you weren't able to slide as good. And I don't know. It just, it just felt better using the PS5 controller in our opinion. But yeah, guys. It's really cool that you could do this. And that's about it for this video. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Please be sure to hit that like button for the algorithm. And stay tuned for many more videos. Subscribe if you haven't already. This is TechSpot, and I'm out. Peace.